Assalamu alaikum everyone I am Ahmed Ukar and welcome back So in this video I am gonna show you my uh, This kind of an old project I made while ago, a while ago Using python and tkinter uh, In this project I have created my own image file format You might be surprised to hear that I created my own image file format But not that advanced Just simple easy Using thing it Enter to display my image the file uh, the format I am using so first of all let's test out uh, uh, before testing out I am going to show you what my project actually looks like so here I have two images uh, they are not being able to show because they are my own in image format so I'm just gonna open one of these and you can see here I have a bunch of hashtag codes now what are these these are hexadecimal color codes right these are hexadecimal color codes and I have used this to make uh, you can say you can say like images to make images so this bunch of code is my format how I make images you can also play around I have the source in the description below next I have my dot and I have named these dot hex I am oh just too much view uh, content okay so now this is perfect uh, we get I have this large line of code big line uh, now one thing I wanted to tell you how to identify the width and height of your image so the height is identified by the lines uh, so in this picture we have to the height of 15, 15 pixels and here we have 7 pixels uh, again I didn't use anything advanced and so I didn't get I can't use high resolution means a thousand pixels a thousand lines that's also going to be very heavy you'll see that uh, and the width is identified by the number of hashtags per line the number of hashtags per line so here I have 92 I calculated them by itself and here I have 15 the number of hashtags in one line is 50. So, my now here I have my test.py. You can open it and it's just importing hex imager open underscore image and opening it up in the peak inter module. My, so right now I'm home opening my dot uh, hex IMG, but I'm going to, I'm going to open fancy dot hex IMG, and you'll see in a moment what happens. So I'm gonna open my command prompt. Oh. What does that? Okay, and yes, pop. I don't do my test. Pop and pi. And uh, test dot file. I open it, and you can see I here I have my image. This is just the Kinder image. It's awesome. It's cool. It's very fantastic. You can call it whatever you want. But I created this image myself and this application myself too. So you can see we have the width and height. But these are large pixels, that's why I couldn't do it in higher resolution or higher pixels or higher, um, you can say, width height. And you will see my other photos uh, that I have created. You will see the result of having high resolution. So I, here I have my picture. You can download these, play around with these, create your own images. It's very interesting. You would want to do something like this but uh, at the end of the video I'll be showing you how this actually works so let me close this
on the sublime text and now I'm gonna name it my.xing because I also have this my.xing I'm gonna run my code and you and this is very slow this is a bit slow so you can see here I have a large bunch of code a very large bunch of code with a lot of width that was 92 pixels and here I have written I am Ahmed Wakar. I am Ahmed Wakar picture. Uh, this is just a picture. Let's just close. Let's just, just. So, this was my file format to create images in Pcinter, uh, which is a default module of Python. You wouldn't have to ins install any other module in Python for this. Now, let's browse our hex imager and see what how this all works so you might be interested to see this line of code only this line of code this bunch of code is only this bunch of code is necessary to create what we have recently been to so i have created a class called the net function and the file name and it is a with open file name or Read, to read it, not to write it. So I have li lines. Lines means all of the text. No, not all of the text. I have uh, this is a list. F dot read. It will read all of the text. It will read all of the text and split them through next line. So the next line is always at the end of every line. It just um, indicates that there is a next line after this line. So next line and it's going to uh, copy all of these 15 lines, 15 lines in a list. Then I'm going to use a for loop for a in range length of line. So a is just the height. You can say height in length of line. So line equals to lines. Line is going to be uh, in line uh, the first line we get is going to be split by a dash a space bar so what is a space bar here this is a space bar so every line is going to be split through space bar and that's going to be stored in a list so then for i in range length of line so this is the width i width and i'm gonna i'm naming a variable Pixel with the object label. So the label text is empty. The background color is string line i. Uh, I use the string because it was returning an integer. I remember what happened before back then. So I have a line i. Uh, I is actually a color code that is inside a no line. Uh, line is also a list. You have split those line. Uh, the, you have split one line uh, with a dash, and it's going to uh, contain all those color codes. So the line of the index. I means the first line we're gonna pick up and put a pixel on that and width is to uh, just to make it uh, equal to the height because height uh, 0 can't be very you can say slow I have used the grid system row is a uh, I mean the the height row is a the height and column is I the width so this is uh, this is much of my code. It's, you can try it out, play around with it. You can do whatever you can, want. You can create images, test them out. But it's very slow. If you have a slow computer, it's going to be very slow, very much slow. So I close all of these, and that's it. So this is the end of the video. I have the source code source code in the description below. Meet you guys in a very next one. Thank you. Oh,